hits in the shoulder. Deputy Defense Secretary Robert Work says live anthrax was shipped to more labs than the Pentagon first thought. There are 51 laboratories in 17 states, one in the District of Columbia, and three foreign countries that we believe have received suspect samples. Those numbers may go up. Officials still say there is no public health risk, but lab workers may be at risk. I'm Evan Haining. We are the breakfast defectors. We are reaching out to anyone trapped in their AM routine. We'll be at Taco Bell every morning starting at 7 AM. You don't have to eat the same circle sandwiches over and over. Same is lame. You have options, delicious ones, like the Biscuit Taco, AM Crunch Wrap, Grande Scrambler, Mountain Dew Kickstart, Cinnabon Delights, or Hot and Iced Coffee. Stop clowning around. Join us. Defect the next generation of breakfast at Taco Bell. Wake up, live moss at participating locations. Guys, when you buy your clothes at DXL, you look good. But you feel like a rock star. So if you want to look and feel like a... You'll find all the brands you love, waist size 38 and up, all in one awesome store. DXL, you're looking good. Right now, Harbor Bay Tees are just $19.99 each when you buy two or more. Close only counts in horseshoes. And here at AM 1050 KCAA. Well, good afternoon. It's 12.02. I'm Di Rice with the only live local news here in the Inland Empire. It's on KCAA 1050 AM. Early this morning at about 2, Sheriff Central deputies responded to the report of a gun being fired in the apartment complex at 674 West 41st Street in the northern portion of the city. Upon arrival, deputies were directed to an upstairs apartment where the gun was believed to have been fired. The suspect, 22-year-old Austin Washington of San Bernardino, was discovered to have been recently released from jail and was on active felony probation for a prior weapons violation. As a result, deputies conducted a probation search of Washington's residence and located two fully loaded and functional semi-automatic 9mm handguns. Deputies also located a bullet hole in an exterior wall and followed it to an occupied ground floor apartment directly below Washington's. Nobody was fortunately injured and Washington was arrested. And San Bernardino's plan of adjustment filed with the bankruptcy court includes contracting with an outside agency for fire protection. The city has received two proposals, one from the county of San Bernardino and the other from the private firm of Sintera. In a letter to Governor Brown and locally elected state lawmakers, Mayor Kerry Davis and the city council complained that Cal Fire did not provide a proposal and declined to discuss one. The letter demands a service proposal similar to what Cal Fire has with many cities in the state or to get out of the contracting business. San Bernardino declared bankruptcy in 2012 and is the poorest city in California. A wildfire burned 10 acres of grass and brush near a homeless encampment along the Santa Ana River in Redlands. The blaze was reported at about 517 yesterday evening just north of Riverview Drive and Church Street along the river's south bank. It started at the foot of the slope right next to the uh, encampment. Light winds helped to spread the flames, but firefighters quickly halted the blaze. Though the mop-up was expected to take several hours because the area does include a city, or used to be a city garbage dump area, which has been closed for quite some time now. Inland Empire weather, variable clouds out there today with highs expected to only reach about 78 degrees. Overnight lows 59, currently 68. Here in San Bernardino, looking at your roadways in Redlands, the off ramp is blocked on the 210 westbound right there at San Bernardino Avenue, and that is an injury crash. So beware of that accident also on the right shoulder of the northbound 215, and that is just before the 10 freeway. And uh, also slow traffic in Moreno Valley on the 215 northbound between East Ridge Avenue and Box Springs Road. The 60 is also busy between Day Street and the 215. And that is your very latest with news, weather, and traffic on the station that leaves no listener behind, KCAA 1050 AM. Controlled? Well, maybe. 
Chaos? Definitely. Tune in weekday mornings, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. for Controlled Chaos with Gary Garver, Jigga, Dave, and Mary Tonga. KCAA, 1050 a.m. You have to hear it to believe it. Desperate? Nothing to do? Just like some abuse? Oh, God! Well, then tune into The Poor Man weekdays at 2 p.m. on KCAA, 1050 a.m. Determination. You can be intentional about your character, your work ethic. You've got to be on the same page. Today we're calling to let you know we are debt free, house and everything. You have done really, really, really good. And you're not going to quit now. It's been a huge witness for us to be able to share that. It was time to get serious. Intentionality, people. Celebrate the success. This is your show, America. If I knew at 22 what I know now, our life would be better off. It's the show that's changing the world. Now you don't just listen to the show, you live it. Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show. Where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host. This is your show. It's your show because it's a show about you. The phone number is 888-825-5225. Giving you the same financial advice your grandmother would. Only we keep our teeth in. Common Sense is now marketable, America. That's right. 560 radio stations carrying the Dave Ramsey Show these days. About 10 million of you listening in. Thanks for hanging out with us, making us the third largest talk radio show in North America. Thank you. Yes, Rush is king of talk radio. Rush is awesome. We love Rush. Sean Hannity, my buddy's number two. He's actually got fewer stations than I've got, but he's got more listeners. So, And he really is competitive. Me and him compete pretty hard. So he wants to be number two, and I'm fine with that. He's number two. That's good. I'm number three. Um, and then it kind of, from there, it's, it's you know, people in the 300 station range and that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, Sean, Rush, and I are the only ones up over 500. So nobody in the 400s right now. And uh, so it's kind of a distant fourth, so to speak. But uh, good shows out there, like Lynn Beck. He's a buddy of mine. Great show. Great guy, too. Just a great guy. So, um, you know, these, there's a lot of wonderful things going on in talk radio. But we're honored. Thank you. After 25 years, we've worked our butts off, and now we're an overnight success. Gina's with us in Charlotte, North Carolina, starting off this hour. Hi, Gina. How are you? Hey, Dave. Thank you so much for taking my call, and thank you for your ministry. Thank you. How can I help? I am trying to think of another strategy um, with my sister to help her get on board. Um, she came in to live with me in August of last year after um, leaving her husband. They're still married. She just had to get out of the situation. She was worried about my two nieces. I said, look, you come down here for a year and a half. You can work two or three jobs. I will take care of the girls, getting them to and from school. And no rent, you don't have to pay any utilities, and, you know, you can get set on your feet. We are nine months later. And mm -hmm. although she has been working a regular full-time job and just picked up another um, part-time job, mm -hmm. it's like she's not getting anywhere. I'm trying to get her to Where do... is the money going? She doesn't make a lot of money, truthfully. Well, what does she, she does. make? She makes about fifteen dollars an hour. Where does it go? Uh, let's see, school loans, a car that she should that shouldn't have been purchased in the first place. How much does she owe on her car? Uh, maybe sixteen thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and and why is she not divorcing her husband? Her thing, I've taught her a lot and because you've taught me a lot about the plan. And her thing is her husband doesn't know anything. She wants to share this with him. And she, I can't leave without sharing the knowledge and what you've learned. I said, I'm sorry, why did, the, why did she have to leave? I thought you said the girls were in danger. Her, not from him. It's just like they weren't living in a good area. The oldest one was going into high school, 
and she felt that the environment, she knew where it was going. Um, my sister was um, a teenager. That's not a reason to leave your husband. We just couldn't live there anymore. And couldn't live housing. where? With him? Yes. Why? He was, he was fine living there. There was no problem with them living there, with them struggling to pay bills. He wasn't willing to get another job to bring money in. Mm-hmm. She was make, he was unmotivated. Okay. He is unmotivated. Mm-hmm. He doesn't help now. Okay. I would sell the car. The car is ridiculous. I've been telling her to do that. Then tell, then tell her to go home. Go home okay. to her husband. And get and get on a financial plan, and both of them work six jobs, and both of them get their car get the car paid, get the car sold, and get these student loans cleaned up. You, you've separated a family over money that didn't need to be separated. Uh, I didn't separate anyone. I know you gave her a place to live, though. Oh, because the only re- only reason she didn't like where her kid was going to high school. Okay. Okay. And so uh, you don't agree with that. That makes you mad, and I don't care. Um, so what I would tell you is that, that that she needs to go home to her husband. They need to get in some marriage counseling. They need to get in Financial Peace University. They, if they need to move, move. But you, you don't move and leave your husband because of where your kid goes to high school. Uh, you know, that's, not a, that, that's the only reason you gave me. You, you, you know, at the start of the conversation, I thought he was hitting the kid or something, and I go along with that. So... Yeah, that that's what I would do if it was my sister. I would tell her to go home to her husband, get in marriage counseling, get in Financial Peace University, and get your freaking act together. Sell the car, get moved. You're, you're driving a $16,000 car, and you're griping about where your kid goes to high school. I mean, there, this is completely out of balance. And so he's not the only one going down here. Um, that's the, you know, I, I just, I, this there's nothing about this that sounds like something I'm going to go along with. But if it was my kid's sister, that's what I'd tell her. And uh, if she doesn't want to do that, I would say, listen, then you need to make arrangements in the next few months to move on because I'm not going to continue to support this. It's not going where we thought it was going to go. We thought she was going to come down here. She was going to clean up her life and get things moving. But if she's going to divorce him for other reasons, then uh, she needs to get on with that. But if she thinks financial counseling is something that, that might save their marriage, then go home and work on it if that's all that's wrong with the marriage. But don't try to do it over a seven-state distance. I want to share a financial peace book with him. Um, so, but sit down, and talk to your pastor, and see if you get different direction than that. Thanks for the call. Open phones at triple eight eight two five five two two five. Derek is with us in Youngstown, Ohio. Hey, Derek, how are you? I'm good, Dave. It's uh, it's an honor to talk to you. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up, man? Um, well, we're work- we are currently on Baby Step 2 mm-hmm. and working hard through it. Um, paid off a car 18 months early, paid off second mortgage. The only debt other than the home is a student loan of about 60000 and uh, so that's the next on the list. Mm-hmm. Um, my question is, I refinanced the, um, the home about four years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, at that time put it into a 4.25 interest rate. I mm-hmm. have about... And we have about 103000 left to pay on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of wondering, I know you tell you that people talk about refinancing. Um, I wouldn't. And I'm not, no. No. I mean, you save 1% on 100000 bucks, 1000 bucks a year. It's not going to make that much difference in your situation. Uh, you got enough other things going on right now. I wouldn't fool with that. Okay. $1,000 is not going to change. It's 80 bucks a month. It's not going to change much. Okay. But if you want to, you can. And how much is remaining on this mortgage? Distance time. Uh, distance, the actual term is about ten and a half years. Okay, so you could do a ten year, three and a quarter. But the trick is, you know, you're going to save a thousand dollars a year, and it's going to cost you two, three thousand dollars to do it. It's going to take three years to break even on the refinance, and and credit the rate you're going. By then, you're going to have this thing paid way down. So you can if you want, but it's not a big financial move for you. It's not going to make a bunch of mathematical difference. Thanks for the call. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Fridays just got fabulous. Don't forget to reserve a seat in the Happy Hour Lounge with Ben and Alexander every Friday at 6 p.m. on KCAA 1050 AM.
absolutely recommend Churchill Mortgage to any of my friends, family, co-workers. They were just, they treated me like as if I was buying a million dollar home. And that just made such a huge difference knowing that I'm more around the 100,000 range than a million dollars, but yet the treatment was just very respectful and, and very professional. Call Churchill Mortgage today or visit us online to discover why we're the only mortgage company Dave Ramsey has ever endorsed. This is KCAA. If you can't seem to stay ahead of your bills, then this message is for you. How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt, medical bills, and department store debt forgiven? National Credit Card Relief would like to give you free information on a proven debt forgiveness program. This program has been used by thousands to legally forgive millions in unsecured debt. It's not bankruptcy. It's not consolidation. This special program actually wipes clean the portion of your debt that is forgiven from what you owe your creditors. Call for free information and get all your questions answered in the first free call. The more you owe, the more you can save. If you have at least $10,000 or more in credit card bills, this debt forgiveness program can be very effective. Call for free information and find out more now. 800-546-2909. There is no cost or obligation for the information. Don't wait. Call 800-546-2909. That's 800-546-2909. Get your debt problem solved. Call 800-546-2909 today. Come visit the all-new Tiger Trail at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Get an early start and have a bountiful buffet breakfast at Tiger Trail San Bhutan Longhouse while watching these majestic creatures. A tiger keeper will be on hand to share stories about these fascinating felines and will invite one of the tigers to join the session. Then explore the Tiger Trail's 5.2 acres, watch the tigers climb rocks, swim in ponds, and nap in tall grasses. See these beautiful animals up close, all at the new Tiger Trail at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Go to San Diego Zoo Safari Are you particular about the vitamins and supplements you take? Have you found that the big chain stores simply don't have what you need? Then you should know about the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. You'll find rock bottom prices on gourmet top quality vitamins and mineral supplements at the Vitamin Center. Get 30% off on all supplements and homeopathic products. All, not just selected merchandise. In addition, you'll find 30% off on all cosmetics, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, makeup, hair coloring, and lip gloss. And all tea products are discounted 20%. Why go anywhere else? See for yourself at the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills, 5007 Canaan Road in Agora Hills. Or check out the savings and place your order online, vitamincenteragorahills.com. Start saving by getting what you need from the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. And tell a friend that the Vitamin Center ships nationwide. Call 818-707-0005. That's 818-707-0005. The Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. This is Elaine McFadden inviting you to join me for Smart Health Talk on Thursdays, 4 to 5 p.m., right here on KCAA Radio, 1050 a.m. Smart Health Talk offers the kind of information that can save your life and save you money, making sure you're getting the biggest smart health bang for your buck. We'll keep you up to date on the latest in nutrition, health, and what it takes to keep your home safe for you and your family. Remember, tune in every Thursday, 4 to 5 p.m. for Smart Health Talk, KCAA Radio, 1050 a.m. Thank you for joining us, America. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. You jump in, we'll talk about your life and your money. The phone number is 888-825-5225. Rachel follows me on Twitter, at Dave Ramsey. You can, too. I'm generally stirring up something there most every day. Some of, most of it's nice. <laughs> uh, do you, do, Rachel says, do you have any suggestions for how to keep a wedding on budget? Sure. What a budget is, is a list of categories that you're going to spend per category. And it becomes your out-of-bounds marker, your plumb line for telling you if you're off or you're on. And so you start with a total amount that you're willing to spend on the wedding, 
and then you list down the page what you're going to spend on each category of the wedding. You can get some guidelines to that in the Smart Money, Smart Kids book. But let's just, you know, use an example and say, I'll just make up a number. Let's say you're going to spend $20,000 on a wedding, okay? And your mom and dad are going to give you 15000 of that. You're going to save 5000 or whatever you're going to do. I don't care. But 20000 is our wedding budget. Then what are you going to spend on music at the reception? What are you going to spend on pictures? What are you going to spend on food at the reception? What are you going to spend on the location of the reception? What are you going to spend on the actual wedding location? What's the church charge if you're using a church? What is the pastor and the musicians, what is your uh, honorarium to them usually look like? What are you going to spend on the wedding dress? What are you going to spend on the honeymoon if you want to put it as part of this budget? And then you break it out, and you go, okay, we have $800 budgeted for a dress or whatever. I don't care, $8,000 budgeted for a dress, whatever it is. And then when you go look at dresses, you don't look at a dress that's more expensive than your budget. When you have a certain amount budgeted for catering, uh, you you know you can't deal with a caterer, or you can't have a wedding that's big enough that you go over that in terms of number of people. The caterer gives you so much per person that they're, it's going to cost you, and you say, well, that's the food I want. Well, then you divide that into your amount, and you go, that's how much I got to spend, so we can't have but uh, 100 people, or we can't have but 30 people, or we can't have but 130 people, whatever it is, and you can mathematically figure that out. Uh, and so a wedding is just like a lot of other things. We have these things in our mind that we want, and we, if we go buy them without a game plan, uh, we will always spend more than we should. If you go buy clothing without a game plan, you're always going to spend more than you should. If you go to a grocery store without a grocery list and a grocery budget amount, you will spend more than you should. If you go looking for a car, you're going, and you, you know, you don't have a set amount that we're not going over, then you'll spend more than you should. Now, if you're sitting there looking at it and you say, well, I found the perfect dress and it's $400 more than my budget, then you have to look at another area of your budget and cut your budget back by $400. Otherwise, you're going to go over a budget. So that's how a budget works and how you stick to it. It becomes your guideline. You print it out. You hand it out to relatives. You hand it out to your mother. You hand it out to your fiancé. And then when you're sitting down with a wedding planner or you're sitting down with a caterer, you've got the number in front of you, and they start talking about something twice as expensive. You go, oh, no, 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 no. You confused me with somebody who had more money. we gotta, we got to do a different plan here. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. It's not in our budget. It's not in our budget. Just like you talk about, about your life. It's the same thing. But you look at the categories of spending on a wedding. There's a good list of those and some general percentages. By the way, I'll help you with that. Um, having had two daughters get married in the last decade, um, the vast majority of the money you spend on a wedding is on the reception in, in a lot of cases, in the typical wedding. I mean, you could have a non-typical destination wedding or you could choose, you know, do justice to the peace or whatever. But even then, you know, you're going to, the, the vast majority of what's spent on a wedding in a normal wedding scenario is going to be the food, the the location, the band, uh, the DJ, whatever on the reception. It's where most of the money goes. Um, a, a large percentage. It's the largest percentage. Big chunk. Big chunk. Unless you decide just to forego that. Say, we're not doing that. We're going to spend it on the honeymoon. and Or we're going to do whatever. You can decide. But, I mean, at least by writing it down, you decide where it's going to go. And then when you meet with a photographer, you find out we're going to hire two people doing the shoot that day, not six, because we can't, it's not in our budget to do a full Hollywood production uh, with the video here, and so on. You know, you just begin to look at it, and, and everyone needs limits, you know, because otherwise there, there's always an upgrade. I mean, you want, a, you want an industry where you want fries with that? They always will upgrade you? Yeah, that would be the wedding industry. There's always a chance to upgrade everything involved. I mean, you can bring in Hollywood makeup lady to do your makeup. It's it's you can go bananas on this stuff, and it's okay to do that as long as you have it as a budget. So what we did when our uh, daughters came in and announced their engagement within a matter of days of that, 
uh, we would sit down with them and say, this is what we're allocating for your wedding. And in our case, we were uh, so completely sold on the sons-in-law that were involved and that they had good sense. Uh, we talked about how to do a budget and delay one out. And we said, we're going to put that amount of money in a checking account that both of you can sign on. It's your money. If you don't spend it all on the wedding, you get to keep the difference. Both of them spend it all. But if you don't spend it all on the wedding, you get to keep the difference. And um, so, but you don't get any more than that. And so you lay out a game plan and, and you lay out a, a written budget for that. And here's what happens. Usually the groom will help the bride and her mother stick to the budget. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they can't keep them from spending it all, but they'll keep them from spending more. That, that's usually how this works, but not always. Sometimes, sometimes the bride is the is the one that wants to crank it back and save the money. It can be either way. I, I've seen seen I've seen it all, but um, that's just you know something that, that we've observed over the years. So something to think about. Good question, by the way. Weddings are a big deal. People spend more on wedding than they do on their college education sometimes. I mean, they really do. that's kind of backwards, I'll just tell you, but uh, some people do that. So a wedding can be a big expense. I got a friend that's got four daughters. He's got a wedding fund and a college fund. Um, I mean, he's he knows what's coming. Here we go. Tyler is with us in Oklahoma City. Hey, Tyler, how are you? Hey, Dave. Good to good to hear your voice. I'm a big uh, big follower. Me and my wife are gazelle intense right now, paying off our student loan. Good for you. And uh, I've, I've called you before. You've handed me my tail, but you've lit a fire in me that is <laughs> unlike anything else. So I'm, I'm hoping you may be able to throw some advice my way here. Well, I'm on. Um, How can I help? Well, next uh, July or so, we're scheduled to pay off the student loan and complete baby step two. Yay! Uh, another, another couple months, I would say... Um, We'll have the emergency fund in place. And then I'm looking at maybe step four, five, and six. And my question is about the college savings plan. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a, a cap on it such that I feel like I'm trying to play catch up just because I've been focused on the student loan all this time. Mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. been putting in a savings plan. Mm -hmm. And so as my son and my, my daughter get older, I know we're still talking for my son, you know, about nine years out before he starts college. And my, my daughter would be about 12 years out. But, uh, I'm looking to send them just to a state school here in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so I guess am I worried over over nothing, or am I expecting too big of a amount to be put towards a college savings plan? No, you just got to sit down and be intentional about it. The reason we have Baby Step Five so vague, Baby Step Five is safe for college. That's all it is, mm -hmm. right? Right. Is because it changes so dramatically if you've got a two-year-old or if you've got a twenty-year-old. Or right. you don't have kids at home at all. So in your case, what we're going to do is just take uh, the amount of money that we're going to need for college and the distance of time we've got and divide it and say that's how much we need to save every year, plus or minus the fact that it's going to grow some because you're going to put it in good mutual funds, right? Yes. And you could sit down with your ELP and lay out how much you need to save if you want to fund it all. Then you can look at it and go, well, we don't want to fund it all. We want to fund 75%. Or we don't want to... Uh, or, or we want to fund a little bit more or whatever. But you just try to figure out what Oklahoma State, you know, get some numbers from them on what it's going to cost, and then you divide that by the number of years you got to work with. You may soon have to be 21 to legally smoke in California. The state Senate approving legislation to raise the smoking age. Because I think individuals are more mature uh, at age 21 and uh, seem to me to be a logical piece of legislation. Senator Ted Gaines among the Republicans favoring the bill, one of four who voted for it in the Senate along with all Democrats. California, one of the top destinations for international travelers. More than 7 million people from overseas traveled to the state last year, up 11% from the year before. Overseas travelers coming to the U.S. tend to go to the gateway areas, the coastal areas, the places with big destination uh, amusement areas. Senior analyst Richard Chapley says that makes California the third most popular state for international tourists behind New York and Florida. L.A. City Council voting today on a proposal that would increase the minimum wage from 9 to $15 by the year 2020. Back of weather mostly dry around the state today. Jeff Scott, California News. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage. It's as American as apple pie. However, over the last seven years or so, Americans who can't use a tax return or pay stub to qualify have been shut out. A 
until now, Cash Call Mortgage is happy to announce its new 30-year fixed-rate mortgage up to $3 million for good credit borrowers who can't or won't provide their tax returns or pay stubs. Your payment will never change. Until now, these programs have only been available as some kind of adjustable, and you know which way those adjustables will eventually go. So call 844-890-CASH for all of your 30-year fixed-rate mortgage needs, purchase, or refinance. You can even pull up to $500,000 in equity out of your house for any reason whatsoever. Remember, that's 844-890-CASH to find out what today's 30-year fixed rate is with no tax returns. You'll be shocked at how low these rates are. Impact Mortgage Corp. DBA Cash Call Mortgage. Equal housing lender. Call 866-900-8744 for terms and restrictions. California Department of Business Oversight Residential Mortgage Lender Law License 4131083. NMLS 128231. Are you particular about the vitamins and supplements you take? Have you found that the big chain stores simply don't have what you need? Then you should know about the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. You'll find rock bottom prices on gourmet top quality vitamins and mineral supplements at the Vitamin Center. Get 30% off on all supplements and homeopathic products. All, not just selected merchandise. In addition, you'll find 30% off on all cosmetics, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, makeup, hair coloring, and lip gloss. And all tea products are discounted 20%. Why go anywhere else? See for yourself at the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills, 5007 Canaan Road in Agora Hills, or check out the savings and place your order online, vitamincenteragorahills.com. Start saving by getting what you need from the Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. And tell a friend that the Vitamin Center ships nationwide. Call 818-707-0005. That's 818-707-0005. The Vitamin Center of Agora Hills. Do you have to ride the bus or depend on someone else for a ride? Is your current car giving you problems or just getting too old? Nearly everybody needs a car, but most people don't have enough money lying around. That's where car financing from Credit Yes comes in. For over a decade, Credit Yes has helped millions of people get the auto loan that's right for them. We want to help you too and for free. Whether you have bad credit, no credit, or even gone through bankruptcy, we could help you get a car loan. We believe that everyone deserves a second chance. If you call right now, we could find you the right financing option, no matter your credit history 855-669-7131 every call is absolutely free and there's no obligation meaning there's nothing to lose now is the time and it's probably not always going to be this easy we even have programs that may allow you to put zero money down don't wait any longer to get the car you need no matter your credit history call credit yes for free right now 855-669-7131 that's 855-669-7131 one last time 855-669-7131 if you can't seem to stay ahead of your bills, then this message is for you. How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt, medical bills, and department store debt forgiven? National Credit Card Relief would like to give you free information on a proven debt forgiveness program. This program has been used by thousands to legally forgive millions in unsecured debt. It's not bankruptcy. It's not consolidation. This special program actually wipes clean the portion of your debt that is forgiven from what you owe your creditors. Call for free information and get all your questions questions answered in the first free call. The more you owe, the more you can save. If you have at least $10,000 or more in credit card bills, this debt forgiveness program can be very effective. Call for free information and find out more now. 800-546-2909. There is no cost or obligation for the information. Don't wait. Call 800-546-2909. Empire talks back. The attitude that, well, the little guy cannot win uh, seems to prevail despite the fact that over time we've seen that the little guy, if he is persistent, he becomes the big guy. Empire talks back. No, well, it's because maybe people figure out a little knowledge is like smoke. It leads to the fire. Empire talks back. I think this, this drive for equality, this drive for justice, uh, is gathering steam as opposed to fading out. I think more and more people realize the importance of uh, the freedoms that America represents. Empire Talks Back with Wallace Allen and Friends, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. on AM 1050 KCAA. But now it seems like things are finally coming around.
Thanks for joining us, America. Brian and Ashley are with us in Jacksonville, Florida. Hey, guys, how are you? We are great, Dave. How are you doing? Better than I deserve. And you are, too. I see on my screen you're debt-free. Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. We're honored to speak with you and incredibly nervous at the same time. No problem, man. We've never lost a patient. You'll be fine. <laughs> How much debt have you guys paid off? We paid off a total of 103000 Wow! How long did that take? It took us exactly two years. Wow, very cool. Making what kind of income during that time? Started the journey at about 125 and ended at about 165 Wow, excellent. What do you two do for a living? Uh, I work in uh, finance. Mm -hmm. And hey, Dave, this is Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Hi, I'm I'm currently on maternity leave, but um, when I go back to work, I work for your favorite employer, the federal government. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, I actually I work for the IRS. Oh, okay, very cool. Good for you. So, what kind of baby <laughs> did you have? Little girl, little boy. A little girl. Awesome. Oh, we got a picture of her just popped up on the video screen for our video channel. She's cute. Thank Love you. the little head bows. Those are cute. <laughs> Very cool. My granddaughter had on one of those last night when I was holding her. Very fun, you guys. Congratulations. What kind of debt was the hundred and three thousand? Uh, the whole hundred and three thousand was our house. Wow, you paid off your house? Yes, sir. You don't have any. How, how old are you guys? <laughs> Uh, we're both 30 years old. And you have a paid-for house? Yes. You're weird. <laughs> we love it. That is so whacked. That is so fun. So how did you do this? What got you started two years ago to pay off your house? Well, I mean, it really started, I guess, more like five years ago. We went through um, FPU as part of our premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. And so from that point on, I mean, we were just hardcore into this. And we never had any, you know, so from the time we got married, which is five years ago, we didn't have any baby to step two debt. Um, so, How did you when, start your life with no debt at all? Did, your parents must have been smart. Yes, both of our parents, both sets of parents were great. Um, How I didn't freaked have out are they to have a new grandbaby and have kids with a paid-for house? Oh, they're all thrilled. They're all at different places right now uh, watching this on the online. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome! Yeah, I missed you guys, I know, before because we were scheduled to do the, 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 the scream before and I had a family funeral, obviously, unexpected come up, and so I missed you. But So we got this rescheduled. This is great! So what was the uh, hardest part of the last two years, Brian? Oh, you guys are handing the phone back and forth. Hello? Hello? Oh, here. This is Ashley. The, the hardest part, well, for us, the, the, the whole key was being content because, you know, we didn't have baby step two debt, so we weren't technically needing to live on beans and rice. But um, at the same time, you know, in our budget, we wanted to put a bunch of money towards the house every month. Yeah, like 50 so, grand a year. So the, the hardest part for me, at least, was being content in that, you know, I'm choosing to put this money towards the house and not go out to eat, you know, several times a week. Okay. Um, for Brian, I think I can answer for him that the hardest part for him was he would have rather lived on beans and rice. And, you know, if it were up to him, he would have not used the air conditioning or the heat or you know, electricity to pay it off even faster. Yeah. So yes. you, you guys are currently using one phone and handing it back and forth. Is yes, that sir. Okay. I'm trying to understand what's happening here. All right. Very cool. Well, hand the phone back to him for a second. Okay. Curious. Hey, Dave. Okay. So what do you tell people the key to paying off your house by the time you're 30 is? Well, I think, um, you know, going through that for you, we set up, um, had some pretty good principles from you. And this will kind of be a, a free advertisement for you. As far as the house is concerned, we, we bought the, Bottom of the pressure in our neighborhood. We bought near water. We used your ELP. Uh, we exercised patients. We uh, had, had been searching for over about two years. We bought a short sale. We um, used a conventional 15-year fixed mortgage that was less than 25% of our take-home pay. You did everything we taught you in the class. Pretty much everything. And, That's and then, very cool. And then we put down about 45% uh, down. So I think some of the keys are some of the obvious things, being intentional every month, telling money where to go. Uh, communicating with each other, make sure we're on the same page, talking about our goals, you know, saying, hey, we want our, our baby girl to never have any debt, never pay one penny of interest uh, through her lifetime. So just kind of keeping ourselves motivated. Uh, more importantly, you taught us, or you instilled in us to hate debt. And also, again, like Ashley mentioned, uh, to be content with, with what we were at. Because, again, we probably could afford to do a lot more things, but we wanted to, to be content and, and pay it off as soon as we could. So it, it sounds like you guys are both really intense, but maybe you're just a notch more. Yeah, I think I take the cake on that one. <laughs> Did people make fun of you guys while you were doing this? 
Not not uh, not too bad. Um, you know, through this process, we did take uh, two of our good couple friends through FPU uh, uh-huh. together in our home. Um, so we kind of got them on board. We even did the the legacy journey together as well. So it's been a good experience. So it wasn't uh, we didn't get too much harassment. Very cool. Very cool. So you've got goals for the future. Now that this is done, right? Mm-hmm. You're asking me. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is, is obviously we took a step back there, adding on baby step five, right? So we've got the ESA going, we've got the 529 going, mm-hmm. and now we can, uh, we've always been, I think, pretty generous in giving, but now we can give even more freely. So uh, we're, just, we're just blessed to be in this position. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, Kelly told me that there's like an announcement that goes with this call. Yeah, um, this is kind of off the cuff, but I wanted to um, tell Ashley on air uh, with our, our friend, uh, good friend Dave, that you know she has my full support and not returning to work actually next Thursday. Uh, so she has the ability to raise our baby girl. So um, just wanted to tell her that on air with you. Well, hand her the phone then. Hey, Dave. Did you hear that? I did. I'm crying. <laughs> I bet you are. That is awesome. Woo-hoo! That is the best debt-free scream ever, I think. <laughs> so that was a big desire of yours, I take it. Yeah, it has. But I didn't. I thought like maybe I could go part time. I mean, I knew we could do it financially, but I know Brian. It's a lot of. It was a lot of pressure for him to think I was, you know, he's the only one working. Yeah. Well, and, so you're you're going to tell the IRS to take this job, and I'm going to go home and be with my kid. Yes, sir. I love it. <laughs> How fun is this? <laughs> That's great, you two. All right, Brian and Ashley. Ashley, get him set up here. Here we okay, go. Ready to count it down. All right, a hundred and three thousand dollars paid off in two years, house and everything. They're thirty years old. Enables her to stay home. That was her desire, and he gets to tell her here on the air as a part of that. That's very cool. That's the first time that's ever happened in a debt-free scream, right in the middle of it. A lot of people do it as a result, but that's the first time we've done that big announcement as a part of this. That's very cool. That is fun. That's a great goal, and they hit it. All right, count it down, you guys. Let's hear a debt-free and I'm home scream. Thank you, Dave. Three, two, one. We debt-free! <laughs> yeah! Freedom! Gives you choices, did you notice? You're 30 years old, you don't even have a dadgum house payment. You got choices. You got all kinds of choices. You can do all kinds of different things. You get your act together financially. Money doesn't money doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it does. It gives you choices. We don't worship money. We're not greedy for money. But money gives you choices. And getting your financial act together gives you a choice. And you can choose to, to be professional in the marketplace and work. That's fine. You can choose to be at home with the kids. That's fine. But when you're broke, you don't have choices. You can't even choose to help other people because you're broke. You're trying to pay your own light bill. That's what money does. And that's what you get in control of your money does. It changes everything in your life. It really does. Well, money isn't everything. Nope, it's not. Neither's air. But try living without it. This is not about worshiping money. This is not unrighteous mammon. It's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about that lady gets to stay home with her baby, and she's crying right now because she just found out that's going to get to happen. And so if you don't like that, let me tell you what you do. Change the channel. I don't want you as a listener. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Check us out on Instagram where you can watch videos, see pictures, and listen to audio of all your favorite KCAA shows. That's right. KCAA 1050 AM is now on Instagram. Go get your account.
This is KCAA. If you're like most, your trust in traditional financial advice has taken a big hit in the last few years. So when it comes to your money, investment, and retirement planning, where do you turn now? Who do you listen to? Join us for Smart Money Talk Radio Mondays from 3 to 4 p.m. for the refreshing, straightforward money and investment strategies of Jim and Lorraine Conaway. With over 44 years of combined experience, the Conaways are here to educate you on how to be smart with your money. Securities offered through J.P. Turner and Company, LLC. Member SIP. If you like jazz, you'll enjoy getting together with me, Tommy Hawkins, the Jazz Hawk. Tune into my show, Just Jazz, Saturday nights, 10 to midnight, on KCAA, 1050 AM. What have I learned so far? I've learned that there is no one path that's right for everyone. I've learned that without my high school diploma, I could only do so much. My options were limited. I found a free personalized learning program with Learn for Life that has a flexible schedule so I could keep my job while earning my high school diploma. I found a new career training opportunity that would jumpstart my future. What have I learned so far? I've learned that I can change my life. Are you 14 to 19 years old and looking for a free high school diploma program with flexible meeting times? This program allows you to keep your job or important family responsibilities while earning your high school diploma. If you've fallen behind on credits or dropped out of school completely, get back on track with free tutoring, a caring faculty, and one-on-one attention. For more information on how to reach your graduation goal, visit learnforlife.org. That's L-E-A-R-N, the number four, L-I-F-E dot O-R-G. Or in Enroll today by calling 877-360-LEARN. That's 877-360-LEARN. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. Hi, this is Bob with Real Estate Talk with Bob and Randy. Tune in every Thursday afternoon from 3 until 4 at KCAA Radio 1050, and we will be there to answer your real estate questions, the latest real estate news, and to talk to the leaders of the real estate industry. Our Real Estate Talk, you can find out how to stop your foreclosure, first-time homebuyer information, loan modifications, different kinds of loans you can buy with, short sale strategies, and real estate investing and more. So don't forget, tune in every Thursday afternoon at 3 for Real Estate Talk with Bob and Randy. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for joining us, America. We're so glad you're here. That was a great debt-free scream, you guys. Where after he announces that they're debt-free and their home is paid off, he tells his wife that this Thursday she does not have to go back to work that they're going to be able to afford for her to stay home with the kid, and that was her desire, and she's crying on the air. That's awesome. That is so cool right there. I'll just tell you, very cool. So, guys, did you know that we've got more than 475 folks here on our team at Ramsey Solutions? And we have fun. That's what we do. We work on stuff like debt-free screams and putting Financial Peace University in your church or Smart Dollar in your company, teaching your employees how to handle money or high school curriculum out there. We've got people doing stuff all over this building. We've got a huge technology group because so many of our products are digital. How How cool would it be to be writing code that causes one of those products to happen or the delivery of one of those products? Now, if you're, yeah, if you're like a developer, yeah, pretty neat stuff. So if you love what we do, we are hiring. We've got about 130 positions we're going to hire in the, uh, in the coming eight or ten months. And uh, if you want to know more about it, click Dave's hiring button on the right side 
of the home page. Just go to DaveRamsey.com, click over on the right hand side. It says it's a little side tab there. It says Dave's hiring, and um, we we win have won best place to work in Nashville for eight years now, and um, there's a reason we're best place to work. This place is incredible. It's an incredible place. It's not perfect. We work our butts off, but uh, you know we go home at five thirty, and we're doing work that matters. And again, if you're in the technology world, you know stuff like uh, sysadmins and stuff like uh, Ruby developers, particularly senior developers, uh, stuff like front end, back end development, whatever, anything in those tech in that tech world, on site. We don't do remote. Uh, and we have one location, and the location is Nashville. It's actually Brentwood, just outside of Nashville. But uh, we're all on this campus here, and we have staff meetings, and we all meet together, and we, again, we're, we're having a blast. So let us know if you have an interest. Just uh, You can check that tab and check in with us. Uh, we've got sales positions, marketing positions, all kinds of leadership positions popping up, but technology coming out our ears. If you're in the technology area, big time. All right, Brian is with us in Sacramento. Hey, Brian, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, thank you. Yeah, that, that last call was inspiring. It was. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. How can I help today? I've got a uh, variable appreciable life uh, insurance policy. It's a whole life. Um, that's a $75,000 death benefit. Mm-hmm. It has a uh, cash value of $3,300. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just wondering if this is the right thing for me to have. It was my mom had set it up for me when I was a little kid, so mm-hmm. and I've, I've just taken it over since then, mm-hmm. uh, and I paid thirty five dollars a month for it. Mm-hmm. Well, you'll you'll get a much better deal over the scope of your life buying uh, level term insurance. I recommend either fifteen or twenty year level term in most cases, and you should have a total of life insurance about ten to twelve times your income overall. With cash value, the thirty-three hundred didn't just appear in there because Santa Claus doesn't live at the life insurance company, so uh, the money must have been paid in order for that to happen. So, in order for there to be more than insurance, insurance including savings, you have to pay more, and the average is you pay about twenty times more than than you should. How old are you? Uh, Twenty twenty-eight. Okay. If you'll jump on Zander Insurance, Z A N D E R Insurance dot com. Pop in some numbers. In about 13 seconds, you'll have an easy quote on some 15-year level term insurance. And if you don't smoke, you're healthy, and you have normal height-weight ratios, meaning you're not obese, then you'll be shocked at how much money uh, or how much life insurance you can buy for $35 a month. And it's a whole lot more than $75,000, i will just tell you that. Um, it's probably probably 10 times that, give or take. So if I were to uh, to cancel that the, my current policy, uh, do I just cash out that thirty three hundred? Yeah, what are the yeah. It's just an it's just an investment in a bad investment vehicle. Is what it amounts what, what, to. What kind of taxes would I have to pay on that? None. Oh, okay. Very likely, ninety eight percent of the time, it's none. And the reason is the total dollars that have been paid into the policy are more than thirty three hundred. So you're actually taking a loss. I see. Okay. That's, well, this would help me on step baby step two to pay, pay down my uh, my car loan. So. Exactly. <laughs> now, are you married, got kids, or what? Yeah, I'm married, no kids. Married with no kids. Okay. Then make sure before you cancel this that you have your t- proper amount of term life insurance in place. Oh, okay. And then cancel it. It frees up the 3300 frees up the $35. You're going to spend that 35 maybe even a little bit more to get a good 10 to 12 times your income on you to make sure you're covered properly. But uh, you're currently underinsured, and so we're going to correct that and free up the 3300 for the baby step two. And that's what I'd recommend. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate the call, man. Open phones at 888-825-5225. Kyle is in Athens, Georgia. Hey, Kyle, how are you? I'm good, David. How are you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Oh, not much. I am trying to figure out this budget. We are doing Financial Peace University, and we use everydollar.com, and we've plugged in our numbers. My rent's due at the first of the month. I'm pretty sure, like, everybody's is, but... um. After I give every dollar a place to go, I seem to come up the next month with empty, and, and my, my rent will come up late. I mean, am I doing this wrong? How does it need to be done? Well, uh, how many times a week, month are you paid? Um, what do you mean? Are you I paid mean, twice a month, three times a month? You paid every week? 
Oh, I pay it one time a month. No, how often are you paid? Oh, um, okay, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. Um, once a week. Okay. And does your wife work outside the home? No, she doesn't. She stays home. Okay, so boys. you have four checks coming in. And so you're scheduling currently your rent check to come out of uh, your first check of the month instead of your fourth check of the month for the next month. You need yeah. to put the rent in your fourth week rather than your first week, and the fourth week being the upcoming month. In other words, the last week of June, you paid July's rent. Okay, so how do I turn that around and catch up now? You're going to double up one month. Okay. But it's not really an entire, it's not like you're losing an entire month because all you're doing is shifting it by one week. You're shifting it from week one to week four. You're going to just move it a week earlier. So some of the stuff you are going to pay in week four of June, you're going to pay in week one of July because you're moving your rent back to that month week. Does that make sense? Yes, I got you. So whatever you were paying in the fourth week of the month, you're going to move some of that to the first week of the month so that you can move that rent check back into the fourth week. Okay. And you just, you're just you're doing a little swap here to get things back on schedule, and you'll have to do a little bit of that. And it'll take a few months sometimes to move a few things around and get everything lined up uh, to where it's so to where it's running like a sewing machine. But you're you're heading in the right direction. And the good news, Kyle, is this: you're actually doing this. You're thinking about it. You're trying to figure out how to make it work. You're, you're doing you're doing more than most people. Most people just wander along lost and broke and can't figure out how to win. But but you you've given every dollar a name. You just put it, some of it in the wrong weeks. And so now if you've got the total money makeover book, you can also sit down and, and pull out a, uh, a sheet in our budget forms that break out your spending by the week. And that's what I'm talking about. So you lay it out by week by week by week, and you, you set it up to where nothing is late. Everything is the week before it's due, not the week it is due. And you shift yourself around with that. And sometimes that means you'll move uh, when you fund groceries by a week, one direction or another. Or you'll move something else, uh, and you just kind of keep moving that around until you've hidden the P a little bit better, and you have to jump in and do that. But you're, you're right on track. So I, I think you're doing good stuff here, man. Way to go. Folks, it is the first of the month, and so a lot of people thinking about laying out their budget for the month of June. You can do that free at everydollar.com. It's an online budgeting tool. We think it's the best online budgeting tool in the world because it's ours, and it's incredible, and it's free. Everydollar.com. Thanks for joining us. That puts this hour of the Dave Ramsey Show in the books. Our thanks to Blake Thompson, our producer extraordinaire, our executive producer. Uh, James Childs is our producer. He's on vacation. And Kelly Daniels is our associate producer and phone screener. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host, and we'll be back. You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind.